driving down the West Side Highway, and we saw both towers on fire. We realized uh, something was going on, didn't know what it was. What happened? What? The uh, building collapsed, part of the building collapsed. At least that's what I think happened. When you get closer, that's when, I mean, it just seemed, when I was there thinking about it, it's like all the color went away. It's just very monochrome with all the dust, and it just didn't look real at all. I just assumed part of that building collapsed. I didn't realize the whole tower was gone. I think that's part of the reason why I was confused where exactly I was, because I think we're also used to seeing both towers next to each other. One of the noises I forgot about, uh, the sounds I forgot about, was just the debris hitting the ground. I didn't realize until uh, days later what that was. It's the outside of the first tower that fell. It wasn't until long after that I realized what some of those alarms were trapped firemen. The firefighters um, apparently wear some kind of alarm that if they're laying down for a certain amount of time, they go off. That sound still, it's definitely a sound that you won't forget. Can I ask you a couple questions? I'd rather not have a sound that you And then seconds later, the second tower collapsed. happening right in front of me. I just could not believe that the building was coming down. It literally felt like just a huge fan was just taking everything and shoving it down the street. And you just could not see anything for a long time. <laughs> what happened? It collapsed. The top floor has collapsed down. I saw it blow, blow and then ran like hell. Thank God. I'm 69, but I can still run. <laughs> to collapse. I need some water. Everybody's running like uh, 
See if you can find him, because I don't know where he is over there. Did the building come down? I don't know. Something fell. What, what did you see? Ah, uh, it was pretty clear at one point, and then uh, this whole bunch of smoke and glass, and I 
I think we're just about the last ones in this building right now. I think you should leave. Everybody else is gone. Okay. I'll just make sure that uh, there's nobody else coming downstairs. I hear the top of the building fell down. Fell over on us. I don't know. I haven't even seen outside yet. Have you, uh, when were you here? Were you there after the planes landed? As a matter of fact, we're standing right underneath uh, Six World Trade when a uh, building actually, the plane hit it the first time. Describe it. Uh, yeah, a, a plane, the engine screaming, and then just an explosion. Glass, then everybody was uh, running around trying to get away. Tell me your name and spell it. Uh, Bennett, B-E-N-N-E-T-T-E. Sergeant? Uh, no, Secret Service. Secret Service? How do yeah. you want your title? Uh, OST. OST, thank you. All right. trapped over here on the northwest corner. So uh, I want to make sure that uh, we got people over there to help dig him out. Oh, sure, Thank you. sure, no problem. Still on a trip over here.
40 people in there, just an explosion. There's a light flash out my, my window. My whole doorway to the entrance of my office blew open. My, my office was freaking out, and I just told them to calm down and get to the center of the office. Everybody was fine on my floor, and we just started heading down the stairs. I heard people were trapped in the bathroom. I ran to the bathroom. It was just blown out. I asked if anybody was in there. People weren't in there. So I started going down the steps. I heard people shouting. I stopped at like 68, and there's a woman in a wheelchair. And, and, uh, and I got her in the strap wheelchair and just carried her down the steps and carried her down <coughs> 68 floors, man. And then we got lost on the fifth floor. It was, it was chaos. It was just, what do you work for? Uh, Network Plus Communications Company out of uh, Randolph, Mass. Mike Benfanti, B E N F A N T E. Thank you, Mike.
Walk to fence. Gotcha. All right. Floors collapsed down. I saw it brought blow and then ran like hell. Thank God. I'm 69, but I can still run. <laughs> There's gotta be fire in trap back there though.
everything. I swear. Chaos. It's just chaos out here. It really is. So the Twin Towers fall. It's amazing. It's crazy. I can't believe this shit is happening. I really can't. It's nightmares. I'm getting right here. That's it. What's your name and how do you spell it? Peter Rodriguez. R O D R I G U E Z. Where do you work? Embassy, the hotel, Embassy Suites. How's the hotel? Oh man, I can't even see it right now. Hopefully, it's a, it looks like we're gonna have lot, engineers are gonna have a lot of work to do. A lot of work, and hopefully, all those families are all right. Oh, my God, this is crazy. I can't. I'm distraught right now. Sorry. <laughs> can't talk. This is crazy. Oh, this is insane. Where's the donkey? What's up, guys? Oh, Jesus Sorry. Christ! Let's get in your shirt. All right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks.